Howdy y'all, welcome or welcome back to the channel. I'm James and this is Clearwater Fishing. And I just got back from the Bassmaster Classic at Ray Roberts. Went to the expo down in Fort Worth and well, I got a bunch of, a bunch of stuff here. A whole bunch of stuff. I have lots of videos to be making for you guys, but the one we're gonna be talking about today is this one, right here. The Ned Rig Kit from Missile Baits. I saw it there, it's by John Cruz, if you know him, well, he's a pretty good fisherman. I got found this kit, saw this kit, it's getting to the tough time of year. I was really debating between this one and the drop shot kit. And I just saw this guy and it was pretty interesting. First thing I noticed is that the uh, heads are a little different than what I typically am used to seeing. And uh, it gives you a little pamphlet in here. I've already opened it, but I haven't really dug into it or anything. I've just opened it so I wouldn't have to do that on camera. But let's dive into this thing a little bit. So we get this, this pamphlet here. Uh, it looks like it shows you exactly how to rig it. Tie a jam knot, thread the bait on, rig it straight. And it even has a scan me for a video. Has some words here on the back, a paragraph probably. Yep, it tells you exactly how to fish this guy, how to rig it up, uh, what kind of setup you need to support it. So we got this pamphlet. I'm gonna read that later. Not on camera, not for you guys. If y'all want to, y'all can uh, buy your own Ned Rig kit here. Now, I need to make some room here. Move, move, move. I bought a lot of stuff, but not all of it. I bought like that right there, that was free. So if you ever get the chance to go to the classic, you get a lot of free stuff. Definitely worth going if you uh, ask my opinion. So I'll start off with what caught my eye is the hooks here. They are definitely different than what I'm typically used to seeing. Got net, they're called Ned Ball Heads from Missile Baits. Ned Ball Heads. So I got a 3 16 1 8 and a 1 16 Three different colors. We got, you know, the green, the black, and then non-painted, just the silver. So pretty, pretty interesting. I noticed the shanks on these are actually pretty long on all three. The shanks are really long. It says it's a one-aught hook. Them being a ball head is interesting. That's definitely different than what I normally buy. I usually buy a mushroom head. So we got that. And it looks like we got, ooh, we got some baits here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six different bags. And then you also get a sticker here. So missile bait sticker for you if you like that. So in this kit, I have the this quiver that's four and a half inches long. And then everything else is called a Ned Bomb. And we got different colors. So I'm gonna open two of these packages kind of show you what they look like. So here on my right hand, I have the Ned Bomb, kind of looks like the typical Ned Rig here. And then it has this flashy little tail. That actually catches my attention quite a bit. And then we have the quiver. This is a four and a half inch quiver. A little bit larger. I don't know, I'm gonna try, try to hold them side by side here. Probably about an inch longer. About an inch longer. So this guy's probably three and a half. This guy's four. So if you need a larger profile bait, well, they give you one of those and then you have a bunch of these small ones. Let's talk about the colors that they gave me in this kit. Obviously, you get green pumpkin, which is the one I was just holding. Nice big old green pumpkin guy. What color is this? It's called super bug, but it reminds me I'm an Okeechobee crawl with the green and the blue there. The green on one side and the black and blue on the other. So, kind of reminds me of an Okeechobee crawl when I think of that. 
which is definitely one of my favorite colors. Got Candy Bomb. I'm gonna open up Candy Bomb here. They have a pretty good scent on them. It's not overpowering, but there is a little bit of a scent. Candy Bomb. Looks like it's all one uniform color here. It's a, a lighter green. It's got some red and green flake in it, along with some black specks. This one is called Orange Green Pumpkin Core. It kind of looks like a Tennessee shadow in a way. It's got the orange color in it. A little translucent. Uh, got some black, black speck in it, and it looks like some orange flake. Man, I like the action on these guys. Quite a bit of action. I've got two more colors to go through. So this one, what do they call this one? Oh, this is a baby bass tail. So kind of got the pearl on one side and then you got the green top. Kind of looks like a baby bass. Oh, that's a fun color right there. And the last color we have here is Golden Shiner. That one doesn't look very gold to me but it's called Golden Shiner Core. Looks very translucent, very natural looking. Works probably really well in clear water. Hmm, let's, let's try a different one. I don't know. I think I've got a mixed up color here. So it's supposed to be Golden Shiner, but those two totally look to like two different colors to me. I don't know about you guys. Looks completely different. This guy's obviously more translucent, and then this guy's got a more of a opaque color. It's got some gold in it. Even when you flip it over, flip them both over, they still, they still don't really mimic one another. So I think I got an extra color in that package. Uh, th there's definitely more of this here. It's got some silver flake in it. This has black speck and some silver flake in it. This doesn't have any black flake in it, so definitely got an extra, <laughs> I definitely got an extra color in there. I don't know. That's just a, an odd looking color to me. Definitely looks like it worked in clear water because it is definitely a natural color, which, hey, tomorrow I'll be fishing some clear water, so. I'm gonna look at this pamphlet real quick and decide which head to use because it tells you which head to use and what pound test and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna read this real quick and then I'm gonna tell tell that back to you guys and uh, tomorrow y'all see me at the lake and we'll be fishing this first thing. All right, so by the book, it says use the 1 16th ounce for the shallows, one to three feet. Uh, the 1 8th is the most versatile, which is what I'm gonna be tying on. It goes from three to 12 feet. And then the 3 16th uh, is for 12 feet or deeper. Talks about the methods and stuff, how to fish it. We'll be going over that tomorrow. But for now, I'm gonna tie this guy on and I'll show you guys how to rig it up real quick. I'm not gonna show you the knot, I'm gonna show you how to thread it. And then the next place you'll see me is out on the water. If you haven't already, right now is a great time to subscribe to the channel. We are definitely a growing fishing channel. We do all sorts of videos from challenges to versus videos, to how to's, even to just trying new things and giving you guys my opinion on those things. So make sure you smash that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and you'll be well on your way to catching more fish. I got my ball head Ned jig head tied on with the San Diego jam knot, just like they recommend. And next is to rig this guy up. Simply, I mean, you line it up, you kind of see where it's gonna go through. Looks like it's gonna pin through about three quarters of the way. And I guess with these tails, you kind of want the tails to be kind of going flat as it's going through the water. So I'm gonna rig it this way with the hook point. It's kind of perpendicular to the tail. So let me line it up real quick for myself. Also for the baby bass color, this is the one I'm start, gonna start off with. I'm gonna make sure the pearl's on bottom, which kind of makes sense to me, because well, fish are usually lighter on the bottom. All right, I got it rigged up here. It looks pretty good. I'm gonna straighten it up just a little bit. Nice little Ned rig going on. I'm gonna hold it by the hook so you guys see it a little better. Uh, body is pretty straight, got the pearl or the pearly white on the bottom, you know, the baby bass green on the top. The tail actually looks kind of kind of black in color. I don't know if they did that on purpose. But we're gonna try this guy first thing tomorrow. 
We're gonna see if the Ned rig will catch us a few fish. And I'm also gonna show you guys a few techniques behind fishing the Ned rig. It's a great bait for this time of year when it's sweltering hot and the bite gets a little tough. So downsizing and using an open hook is a great way to make sure you get bass on. So you know, stay tuned and uh, we're gonna go over all the things you need to know about fishing this guy. Got the yellow stick going today. Well, let's get to fishing or I lose too much daylight. So just as we ended the video, we still have this baby bass tied on. Same exact one from the garage. You now we're gonna talk about how to fish it. But first, I'm gonna talk about what to fish. You really don't wanna fish a whole lot of vegetation because of the open hook. So you really wanna stick to rocks and maybe wooded area. And when I mean wooded, I mean simple laydowns, not brush like I have out here in front of me. We're talking about simple laydowns that are easy to pull through. And now, let's get on our point here. And let's talk about how to fish this guy. Because you don't fish this guy, you don't fish it like you normally would a Texas rig or something like that. This guy is going to get pinned between rocks really easy. So I got this point, this rock point here. And I got tons of these all over the lake. I'm just starting on this one because I haven't fished it all year. And yeah, I know this guy is going to get hung up. It's going to happen. But we're going to do the best we can to keep it from getting hung up. And we're going to cast it kind of wherever we want to. We're going to let it sink to the bottom. It'd be a little easier to tell if I was on a shorter cast, but I'm not. I'm sure it's on the bottom by now. All we're gonna do is a simple lift. Oh, we're already hung up. That didn't take very long. Oh, let's do a little bit longer of a cast. Maybe this one will be a little more successful as far as demonstration goes. All right, we're on the bottom there. Lift and let it drift. And we're watching our line. Now, John Cruz card says from three o'clock to 12 o'clock, which I don't exactly agree with. I like to keep it around 1030. That way I still have room to set a hook while it's drifting. And they're gonna hit it on the fall almost all the time. You can let it dead stick if you need to or think you need to. And this is what we're gonna be doing. I'm just gonna be fishing this point. I'll go to another one if this one's not successful. Might fish some light vegetation. When I mean light, I mean very light. Yeah, this is a multi-species technique, so don't be surprised to see me catch things other than bass on this guy. Oh, you know, just a chunk of grass or something. It did feel something like a fish for a second. Now that is a fish. No, oh, it's a fish. He just took off with it. Come here, little guy. Hey, the old Ned rig. And the Ned rig snagging little guys. <laughs> Definitely not his first rodeo. He's been caught before, but we're gonna let him go. He's a little guy. Have fun. Ooh, that was an almost an eight out of a ten there for the dive. Good job, Ned rig. He just picked it up and took off. I think I hit him a few seconds before, and he picked it up twice. And the first time he was able to shake it off. Second time, I hit him with it again, and he wasn't able to shake it off. First Ned Rig fish of the day. Hey, just to point it out, it is 100 degrees out here, and I'm fishing to teach you guys and also to have fun for myself. But, hey, I'm dedicated out here. 100 degrees, fishing. There's a 
fish right there. No, it was a carp. But I'm 100 degrees out here. I'm fishing. Water temps in the 80s. And we're going to catch some more fish. That's not the last one. And that's not just the first one. Well, it is the first one, but it's not the last one. And y'all saw, I mean, the technique's been the same. You lift it up and you let it fall back down. And he must have hit it on the fall because I was waiting on it to fall and hit and it just started going this way. I got one. Definitely. It's a little Wally. Come here, little Wally. It's a Wally. A little Wally. Told you guys it was a a multi-species bait. Little bass, little baby bass, Ned Ring, and then the walleye came after it. So, nah, we'll give you a two out of ten. You weren't that good. And my trolling motor and my Ned Rig have been giving me fits here lately. Getting hung up a bunch. Well, he came in an opportune moment, I guess, as I was starting to get frustrated. Oh man, that was another walleye hit. Hey, it may be a good walleye bait. I didn't, I mean, I knew it was a, a good bait. I just didn't realize it was gonna be a good walleye bait. All right guys, so that's gonna have to do it for today's video. It is a little bit of a tough day, daggum scorcher out here, but still was able to catch some fish. Multi-species caught both a bass and a walleye today. Uh, be careful of those snags. If your lake is full of snags and you don't really know the area, the Ned Rig may not be best, but if you know where they are and you can avoid them pretty well, Ned Rig is pretty good choice, pretty good option for you to catch fish on those tough days. Uh, if you're getting too many snags, I recommend doing something a little more weedless, maybe a, a weedless Texas rig, maybe with a Ned bait, if that's what you desire. But for today, the Ned Rig did pretty good. I probably won't be using it on this lake much more. Uh, maybe I'll, if I'm fishing some uh, deeper water, I'll go to that 3 16th ounce and uh, fish for some walleye using this kind of setup. But today was a pretty good day. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys learned a little bit about fishing the Ned Rig. And if you didn't, well, I'm sorry. Maybe you're more educated than me about the Ned Rig and more versed in it. So let us know in the comments below if you are. But... Just like always, until next time, get out there and go catch you some fish.